As America continues to endure one mass shooting after another, Donald Trump, Republicans in Congress, and the National Rifle Association have blocked gun safety legislation. Even common sense measures with broad public support, like background checks, license requirements, and a ban on assault weapons have been completely shut down. In order to fight them, we need to understand how they are doing it. Here is their six-part strategy. One, they send thoughts and prayers, but claim it's not the time to discuss gun reform legislation. Well, I'm sorry. Thoughts and prayers don't save lives. Every day, 100 Americans are killed with guns, and hundreds more are shot and injured. If we don't talk about gun violence in the wake of a mass shooting, when are we going to discuss it? Number two, they downplay the role of white nationalism. After the El Paso shooting, in which the shooter wrote a racist manifesto before carrying out the attack, Trump and Republicans in Congress tried to minimize the real danger caused by white supremacist groups. The fact is, white supremacist violence is on the rise. Extremist-related murders jumped 35% from 2017 to 2018, according to the Anti-Defamation League. In 2018, all of these extremist-related murders were carried out by right-wing radicals. Number three, they blame video games for causing violence. Wrong. In 2011, even the U.S. Supreme Court recognized that research did not find a clear connection between violent video games and aggressive behavior. And if you look at Korea and Japan, whose citizens spend more per capita on video games than the United States, but have strict gun laws, you'll see they have some of the lowest rates of violent crime in the world. Number four, they blame mental illness. Wrong. According to the National Center for Health Statistics, of the 120,000 gun-related killings in the United States between 2001 and 2010, fewer than 5% were committed by people diagnosed with mental illness. In fact, those with a mental illness are much more likely to be a victim of crime rather than a perpetrator of one. Number five, they claim gun laws won't stop the violence. Wrong again. After the assault weapons ban became law, gun massacres, defined as instances of gun violence in which six or more people are shot and killed, fell by 37%. When George W. Bush let it expire, gun massacres more than doubled. Studies have also found that where gun laws are weaker, like in the United States, there are more mass shootings. Number six, they say more guns are necessary to stop the violence. No. In fact, the opposite is true. More guns lead to more crime. Right-to-carry handgun laws have been shown to increase violent crime by 13% to 15% a decade after they're enacted. It's time to stop gun violence in America. It's time to break the NRA's stranglehold on our democracy. How do we fight back against the NRA? Tell us in the comments. If you found this video informative, please also watch our video on the five points to counter the NRA. As always, thank you for watching, and please subscribe to this channel for more videos like this one.